Hey guys, this is Mike coming to you from the Rubicon Trail today. Today we're uh, shooting some videos for the driving line. We're gonna shoot three videos. We've got a JL and a JL. We got a JL and a LJ. We're gonna see which one's better. Uh, we are going to do a video on uh, how to do spotting, and then we're gonna do sort of an over video, overview video on the Rubicon Trail in general. I'm riding along in Junior Mint today, driven by Dave, and we're going to be shooting all day today, and we're going to camp tonight and drive out tomorrow. So I'll put a little montage of the video footage here, but if you want to see those three videos I mentioned, check out the Driving Line channel, and you can see those. Enjoy! <laughs> This is a 1986 Toyota SR5 uh, Turbo 4 uh, My name is Ian, I'm from Orangevale, California. Uh, the factory, factory turbo trucks were made in uh, 86 and 87 only. Uh, as far as I know, they were made those two years to compete with, uh, I think, okay. Nissan's Actually, I don't know. I think they came out of the V6, but I'm not actually clear on that, so okay. probably shouldn't put I've owned five of them, uh, four the first gen style, and uh, then a 2008 as my daily driver. Uh, lots, lots, plenty of space for the family and uh, for gear uh, for uh, you know, a week-long adventure in the uh, in the Sierras or the desert or you know, wherever you want to go. Really, is this roadworthy? Uh, yes, I. Uh, Drive it to and you know to and to and from the trail. See the front suspension is a three link front suspension. All right, well we just came up the slabs here on the Rubicon, had a little snack, and then we're gonna proceed on. Probably make some time until we get to Walker Hill, which is where the first obstacles are, I suppose. Um, big sluice or little sluice, I think, and soup bowl maybe. I'm not super familiar with it, but that's what Harry said. So we'll move along and see you there. Okay, so this is uh, the like version two of this vehicle. Uh, when I first built it, I built it with leaf springs, uh, front and rear. And then uh, probably about uh, six or seven years ago, I did a three link in the front. And, um, and then a pan hard bar in the back to uh, prevent wheel hop, um, help, help with climbing. It has uh, approximately six inches of lift to clear uh, 40 inch tires. And the running gear uh, is out of a three quarter ton uh, Chevy pickup. Uh, there's a Detroit locker in the rear, uh, ARB locker in the front, um, chromoly uh, axles front and rear. Uh, a combination of people. I've done uh, quite a bit of the work my, myself, uh, the fab, and then uh, I've also had uh, some uh, friends of mine help me that are uh, more talented fabricators than I am when I, when I need that.
I run uh, Rubicon, Fordyce, uh, Barrett Lake Trail are the, uh, the main trails that I, that I run. Nor basically Northern California stuff. For being a roadworthy truck, uh, it performs pretty well. We are past Little Sluice on our way to Buck Island Lake. I think we're going to stay there tonight and do some more video shoots there. We've got the Rocco Jeep in front of me. Harry's taking pictures. We've got Harry's Orange Jeep in front of me. This is part we're shooting for the LJ versus JL video. That'll be on driving line. Which is better. Do you have an opinion? I'm sure you can let Harry know in the comments over there. Whew, it's hot. So Ben got a, this LJ, the Rocco, bound up in the, between the rock and the tree there. Um, and when he goes backwards, it really loads things up and nothing spins. So Harry's gonna winch him back with the LJ and they'll get out of there and nothing will break. So it has, uh, it's a, has it's an automatic factory automatic vehicle and then it has uh, JP Eater uh, dual transfer cases and so you it retains the planetary shift on the fly transfer case and then it has a gear driven case bolted behind that so there's two adapters one blocks off the ATF and there's the planetary case and then you have the gear driven case with uh, regular gear oil in that um, in the gear driven case, I have 50 gears in there. So I don't know what the final pro ratio is, but <laughs> extremely low. Uh, most of the wheeling that I do, I'm usually in first gear in the automatic, and then uh, with the 50 gears, it's the majority of the stuff that I do.
Okay, thanks for watching. If you want to see more from this Rubicon trip, check out the Harry Situations playlist over on the Driving Line channel. There's also more Junior Mint footage and the Desta Glory walk around in the description and on the website at allterrainfam.com. If you like this channel and you want to help support directly, please consider becoming a patron on Patreon. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe and leave a comment if you love Turbo Toyotas or if I'd said something stupid. Wait a minute. This isn't the Rubicon. Where the heck am I? Why is it so cold? <laughs>